Go live. Do the thing. Push the buttons. Do the thing and the thing with the other thing and the thing and the thing and the thing. Come on, play, you silly thing. I'm in trouble playing this video. Why are you saying that? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. What's wrong with you here? Really? You're being stupid? Alright, we'll try it again. Hold on. Can you see can you can you actually see me and I can't see you? Okay. Alright. If you can see me, then that means it's working even if they're having trouble playing it. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope for the best here. Alright. Wom Hey I'm here. How's about that? Okay. Hi folks, it is another one of those shows. Uh, a lot of it was is based on just trying to get things organized and occasionally rearrange furniture because I still have this window behind me. And um, you can see me. You can hear me but not see me. Now you can see me? Can you see me now? I have Kay telling me whether or not I can see me. Hopefully I can see me. Can I be seen? I hope I can be seen. I can't tell. I don't have the thing. Uh, I don't have the screen up that says whether or not I can be seen. I only have the screen up that says whether or not I can be heard. Yay! All right. Only a minute and a half in, and we've managed to bypass all the technical issues. I think that's a bonus. Ah, he says this as the light fades in and out, and things get stupid. So we'll just adjust that a little bit. That's right, folks. It is. Earn while you learn right here at the Tobias the Adequate Troubadour Show. Let me see here. We want to turn off. No, we got low light auto. Okay, we're going to turn off auto exposure. It's going to get very dark for a moment, and then we are going to lighten it up. Lighten up! There we go. That's much better. Technology, it's a glorious thing. I was messing around with this in a different setting, and consequently I had the auto exposure on, which is always a mistake. Always a mistake. So this, what you can't see is I'm actually, my, my perfect posture is because I'm actually resting my elbow here on a table. See the table right here. My elbow is on. Like that. <laughs> We're just going to screw around with things until we get something that I, I, I'm i happy with. I really don't care. Ah, uh, hey, Tina. All right, my audience is here. My core audience is here, and I'm very happy. And uh, we'll move the microphone, which is now actually kind of straight on. It's not hiding behind this thing anymore, really. It's not here anymore. It's over there, but it's up. Hopefully, y'all can still hear me okay. This is going to be an all stuff I wrote show. Because um, I felt like it. And it's been very weird. And here in Texas, we just got word that they're going to start to reopen things. Stores, restaurants, that sort of thing. And regardless of what your opinion is on it, it does mean that things are going to get even weirder very quickly. So there it is. So I'm just going to play a bunch of songs. And I'm going to start with this one because I really like this one. Um, I've done it like once. And uh, it really kind of kicked in and made sense to me. I can find it again. There it is. And it's kind of funny because I started off, I wanted to have kind of a, uh, uh, the kind of vibe that Prince has with, with Kiss. You know? And I just it, it just became something else. Somebody is wrong on the internet. Somebody is wrong on the internet. Well, yeah, I got to correct them. They didn't ask me, but I gotta tell them that they are wrong. Somebody is wrong on the internet. Someone is wrong on the internet. I got to wear them down. They're avoiding me, but I'll wear them down and prove that they are wrong. Somebody 
Friday is wrong on the internet. Someone is definitely wrong on the internet. Yeah, they think they can't ignore me. Well, they think that they can't ignore me, but they are wrong. Someone is still wrong on the internet. Yep, they are still wrong on the internet. I'm sure that I can wear them down. Yeah, I'm sure that I'll wear them down. Cause they are wrong. And now I've been blocked <laughs> on the internet. This guy has got me blocked on the internet. Well, I guess that means that I have won. Yeah, it definitely means that I've won. Cause they were wrong. I love that little song. It's, I just, it, you'd be pattering around the house. Somebody is wrong on the internet. And now I pass it on to you folks, so you will be doing that too. You're welcome. <laughs> Me providing earworms since uh, three, four weeks ago. Oh my goodness me. Um, things are getting weirder here and there. Um, this is... I'm going to continue to do this for as long as they tell me that I need to work from home. When they release me, we'll try and do this on like a more weekly basis as opposed to a daily basis uh, because, well, we going to have to do other stuff because the commute home actually takes time. And that's okay. Whatever we're going to go into, whether or not it's normal in our own mindset, it'll be different. And so until that time, we'll just maintain what we got here with me bashing away at songs and hopefully making some of y'all giggle out there in the wonderful world of the internets. Let me see. I can't even remember what I'm doing next. Ah, yes. That's what I'm doing next. Ah. Yes. This is still a great... I, I really, these, are, these are all songs I just like to play, so that's part of it. It's a very self-indulgent. <clears throat> For those of you who, never came, who, who weren't here when I first started explaining this... This uh, song started off as just one of those random things that happens in my head. I was puttering around in my day job. I gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this, and then we'll steal their socks. What? And then we'll steal their socks. <clears throat> and then I gotta write a song. It started out initially in A, when I worked out the chords, but E strikes me as more piratey. You know, E is kind of like, Arr. A is more like, E. That's not the song. <clears throat> Come listen to me tell me hearties heed well to me call. We'll launch our ships and stealthily we'll glide over the wall. We'll land as soft as feathers and we'll deftly pick their locks. We'll pounce upon our prey, me boys, and then we'll steal their song. Talk pirates and dirigibles, the sky be where we roam. Just looking for a decent pair without a holy toe. Talk pirates of the air, me boys, the clouds be where we roam. We'd all turn on the sailors if we just could make our own. The City Watch, they know our ship, each one does know our name. They stalk down us poor sailors, and upon us heap their shame. We'll ransack every port and town, for hosiery we adore. Tis not so much a fetish, more a way of keeping score. So pirates of the sky, me boys, the clouds be where we roam. Just looking for a decent pair without a holy toe. Sock pirates in the clouds, me boys, the sky be where we roam. 
We'd all turn on the sailors if we just could make our own. We'd almost had our fill, me lads, but we made one stop more. Accosted a fair maiden, coming out of the yarn store. This plucky lass, she was quite brave, she did not flinch a bit. She glared us down defiantly and taught us how to knit. Well, that's not hard. It's a pirate of the sky, no more, no longer do we roam. We've all turned on the sailors who know how to turn a toe. It's a pirate, some dirigibles, now we've settled down at home. We've all turned on the sailors who, now that we, we can make our own. Arr. Wait, I'm good. Um... I always find myself hunkering over when I play that song, and I figured out why. It's because my, my Sea Dog character, Anchor, Tobias Anchor, he won the name Tobias in a card game. Um, Anchor is like me, only about six inches shorter, 300 pound, 200 pounds heavier, and minus several dozen IQ points. So if Tobias is up like this, Anchor is kind of like, Hi, I'm a sailor, you know? Um, and so I always wonder when I play standing up, I, I wind up hunkering down far more than is probably healthy for me. I see we have some comments stacking up here. Why don't I come down here and take a look at the comments? My thumb is better, Tina. Yes, I, I managed not to completely mung up my hand, which I'm extraordinarily pleased by. Um, it's, it's working. I, I initially, I actually did, true story, strain or sprain my left thumb, uh, the first time I brought, uh, Payback, the cigar box ukulele, out to fair. Because I was trying to use my thumb to brace. It's no good way to show this. Uh, but I was pushing my hand, getting all the way over here, against the back of the, the neck of the guitar here. And apparently the reasonable and sane way to go about this is just cradle it. And once I learned that, then I was able to fix that. But I actually had like a hard, a semi-hard uh, brace that I had to wrap around my hand and keep my thumb stuck out like that, which was really bizarre. I'm better now. I'm much better now. Yes, Kay, that was a choice. It was a choice I made, and it's, it's a thing. Sometimes these things don't work as well as we can. As we'd like them to. Um, this next one is another song, and it is one that I wrote a while ago. I've played it all of once. It is. Uh, it's not the oldest original song that I have. The oldest original song I have is so old and so original that I don't even remember the right way I sang it because I didn't think that you could actually record audio in Evernote, which is what I use to save all my stuff. And so I kind of know what the the um, lyrical line is, but not really anymore. So I have to do some, um, I have to do some musical, um, archaeology and try to figure out what the heck it was I was doing with that at the time. I still have some songs I have not actually finished writing, including, uh, the, the, uh, Renfair version of Internet Famous, which is called, uh, All I Want. All I have for it right now is, uh, <clears throat> I will play the All I Want part. It says, all I want is for everyone to love me. All I need is for everyone to care. All I desire is just unbridled admiration. I want to be the most important person at the fair. See, it leaps back and forth, so there it is. Um, but that's, that is a song I'm working on right now, and it's, uh, basically the, uh, ongoing internal whinge of a, basically, you know, cast member at a Renaissance Festival. I'm not basing this on anyone, um, but it was kind of like my, you know, why aren't I important at fair? Grumble. The way Internet Famous says, why aren't I important on the internet? Grumble. Um, where can I put that song? I have a song. I'm putting the song somewhere. 
Where is it? Uh, no, no, there it is. There it is. Ah, uh, where did I go write a bewildered love song? Um, <clears throat> basically, it's my approach to a lot of things, especially when it comes to romance. Amy and I, my, my beloved wife, without whom I would be dead in a ditch on fire, and I have been together now for over 30 years. Um, about 30, almost 33 total. We've been married for almost 30 years. We've been married 28. 28 years, yeah. We got married in 92. And yeah, 28 years. That's still almost 30 in very, very vague general terms. We're just going to round up or round down. I don't care. Um, I've been making a joke about how I went to college for six years when I actually went to college for five and a half because six is funnier than five and a half. And it takes less time to say. I'm just reminding myself how the song goes. It's not a lack of faith in her, but that she has faith in me. It's sinking in and it's worked out, you see. Where did I go right? How did I do well? How long will she be here? Guess it's just too soon to tell. Where did I go right? How did I fail to fail? You'd think the law of averages prevailed. I'm still figuring out the strumming on that one. Um, I think one of the mistakes I make is that I try very hard to play fast. This is not a fast song. So, once again, this is one of those slow it down idiot songs. Um, kind of like Possums in a Trench Coat, which um, plays so much better when you do it slow. I'm not going to play all the Possums in a Trench Coat today. If you want, I'll play it tomorrow. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, I, when I first get it, especially if I'm on stage and I haven't relaxed into it, I, I play stupidly. Okay. Caffeine! 
then I kill myself trying to sing it that way, too. Uh, so that's a slow it down idiot song. <laughs> Last one for this time around. Uh, it's been it's been a week, you know. It feels like I've only been away from doing this for three day for three days, but it feels like a whole lot has happened because a whole lot has. Uh, and that's okay. That's the way the world works. You continue to have a life even when you are not doing something you're used to doing all the time, and you fill the spaces with what you want to do. So let's let let's discuss the last song here. Oh, you know it helps if I click on the right thing. I've got two computers up. Yeah, it's that one. It's that one. You know it is. Um, this is one of those weird ones where I initially worked it up in the cigar box guitar. And cigar box guitars are really big on uh, distortion and feedback. You put it on an amp, you put it on an amp, and you put some stank on it. And um, I'm becoming aware that I might just be a, more of an acoustic instrument and less of an electric instrument performer, which is strange. To me, because I figured that with an electric instrument, I've got reverb and feedback and all the kind of things you hide, hide as um, as Adam Savage puts it, hide a million crimes behind it. And yet, I want to be internet famous. I want to make big internet bucks. I want to get buckets of exposure because not being internet famous sucks. I want to be internet famous because YouTube is just like being on TV. I want to be some makeup show us your cat it's all so easy who can blame us cause everybody wants to be internet famous I wanna be internet famous I wanna make big internet bucks I wanna get buckets of exposure cause not being internet famous sucks I wanna be internet famous cause YouTube is just like being on TV I wanna be I'm willing to try it again. Close enough for rock and roll. It's all so easy. Don't take no skills. Somehow the ad views pay all your bills. Remember any war home? he did proclaim was in 15 minutes we'll all be internet famous i wanna be internet famous i wanna make big internet bucks i wanna get buckets of exposure cause not being internet famous sucks i wanna be internet famous cause youtube is just like being on tv i wanna be internet famous if those guys can do it hey why not me key change a fuss. We all want to be internet famous. If those guys can do it, hey, why not us? <laughs> yes, I got silly. Yes, it got messy. Yes, I thought too hard and caught myself doing it. Now, if you can see, if there's any moment where I just like suddenly grin really big, during the middle of a performance. Either one, I'm thinking about something really funny I'm about to sing, or two, I notice something that I think is a screw-up. And whether y'all think it's a screw-up or not, I think it's a screw-up. So it's like, ha 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 Tobias, you're an idiot. Keep playing. Oh my gosh. Here we are again. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Um, if you're not hanging out with me, then I'm just doing this out into the world, which is 
entirely possible. I mean, you know, it's the internet. It's it's when I do the podcast, I don't even have uh, chat like I have here. So I have no idea if anybody's actually going to pay any attention or if anybody likes it or doesn't like it or what have you. The podcast is on hold. Uh, everything else is so freaking weird. I'm not going to try and push multiple projects at once along with all the projects we're doing here in the house, which will eventually mean that I will be moving from this room to another room, which we refer to as a way, which will actually be my performing space when I'm recording stuff. That and getting an actual camera instead of using the one that's attached to my work laptop, which by the time anybody who I work for sees this will probably be outside of the statute of limitations anyway, except for one guy or two people who are going to see it. One of them already knows what's going on. One of them is actually uh, going to like, eh, pfft, whatever, go for it. So let's go through the credit reel here. Of course, uh, in the unlikely event that you have disposable income in this incredibly complicated and challenging time, you can throw some of it at me at paypal.me slash theadequate or coffee.com slash theadequate. The interesting thing with coffee.com is it is like three bucks, which is what they think a cup of coffee costs. I don't drink coffee. It could be three bucks. I don't know. Um, let's see here. We've got uh, Carpe Diem Comics is once again and will remain. The official emotional support comic shop of Troubadour, Tobias the Adequate, and anything else that I do. You can find them physically in McKinney, Texas, and they are now doing curbside delivery again. And it is definitely not that day. And you can find them at carpadiumcomicsonline.square.site right there. If you see something, or if you want to see something there, buy it from them. If you don't see something, ask them if they have it. Send them an email. They'll probably sell it to you if they've got it. All right. Patreon.com over here. Ha! This part right here, where you can support Adequacy in Our Lifetime. My four mighty Patreon patrons are John and Brian and Lorena and Alicia, in no particular order, except I haven't changed that slide for a while. Um, the idea here is just, if you if you want to do something with that, fantastic. I will take the funds that come in, and I will use them to do things like buy software that helps me figure out what the chords are for certain songs I'm trying to cover. Uh, eventually, maybe a camera. I'm th looking at a GoPro. I'd probably get like a, you know, refurbed, like, fourth or fifth generation instead of the big fancy one we'll see we'll see how that goes and i do try to put some previews up there um i will put some previews up there when i have stuff to preview and hopefully that'll be soonish all right let's see here oh wait a minute did i skip a slide i might have skipped a slide go back one did i miss one Yes, haha, <laughs> soundcloud.com slash matthew dash is where I have a lot of my recorded stuff. And the old shows can be found at the Tobias the Adequate webpage and also at youtube.com slash mp which is where the Troubadour playlist lives and has all the shows up to, but not counting, this one. All right, so that's that, and that's that, and that's that, and that's that. And I want to thank you guys so very much once again for hanging out with me. It's been a lot of fun. We'll do more of this. Um, we will carry on. Uh, you can hit my Facebook feed up uh, to see if I'm doing it or not. When I do finally terminate these things and end it, you will see a notification there. I will also put the stuff on my Twitter, which is at the adequate because I'm at the adequate in a lot of things. I haven't done anything very much with Instagram, but it's hard to do a live cast on Instagram, as far as I can tell, because I can't play and hold the phone up with one hand. You know, this 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 is awkward. This is very awkward. I am very awkward. I am Tobias. Y'all have been magnificent. Once again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. We'll do a very graceful crossfade to the card here. And we will once again take my current lament. Still not famous. And then we'll very carefully and gracefully fade to black. And I will continue to talk for a moment or two because that means that YouTube has a place to put the cards which are not on top of my face. Because that's how we do these things. All right, y'all. I'll see you next time. Take care. Aloha.